Hey guys, so today I wanna to talk about my food bag and what I'm carrying for seven days on the Uinta Highline Trail. So as you can see, I have the large Hilltop Packs food bag and also a six liter Osprey dry sack. So Hilltop Packs recommends three to seven days worth of food in their large bag. And it turns out at seven days, the way I have it set up, it's just too small to get a good roll at the top. So I've decided to split it up with my main food here and most of my snacks here. Of course, as I eat on the trail, this bag will probably go away and I'll end up just using my primary food bag. But until then, this is the setup I'm using. I'm sure a lot of you are wondering how much all of this food weighs. I'm right around 13 pounds for snacks and meals on the whole trip. That averages out to right around 3,500 calories per day, and that's right around 140 calories per ounce as well on the food. I guess I should also mention that other things that are in this bag include a titanium spork, a bag of seasoning, and my rock hang kit. So with all that being said, let's get into the video and I'll show you what's inside these bags. So first, we'll set aside my main food bag and get into, I guess you could call it my overflow food bag. This is a mix of pecans, cashews, chili lime peanuts, raw pumpkin seeds, and pistachios. In each of these bags, I've portioned out two granola bars, two electrolyte sticks, a complete cookie, and a honey stinger waffle. And in this last bag, I have a variety of a couple different types of beef jerky sticks, usually three to four per pack. All right, now let's get into the main food bag. The first item here is my Vulcan long-handled titanium spork. Next, I usually like to keep a little trash bag and in here I have my Tony Shashri seasoning and a little clip for steaming my home packed food. So for this next stuff, my good friend had a bunch of bulk Mountain House meals that we repackaged and he has a vacuum sealer. So this is the Mountain House teriyaki noodles, two servings worth. And I know vacuum sealing is unnecessary, but it's gonna make rehydrating everything much easier. So this next meal is two servings of Mountain House lasagna with meat sauce. And lastly for the vacuum sealed meals, this is two servings of Mountain House scrambled eggs with bacon. How could we possibly survive without a toothbrush and toothpaste? And then these are just a couple of bags my buddy made just in case my vacuum sealed bags failed. So this is my hang kit. In here I just have a carabiner, some paracord, and this was an extra bag that I got from a local gear shop. So you just load it up with rocks and toss it over a tree branch to help hang your food bag. And that's about it. The only other thing worth mentioning is that I've made sure to have a good variety and flavors for everything, just so I don't get tired of any one particular snack or food. So that's about it for the video today, guys. If you're interested in how this food worked for me on the trail, stay tuned because in about two weeks or so, I'll have a video up about how this food worked for me on the trail. Thanks for watching today, guys. If you gained any value out of this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Maybe leave me a comment on what your food setup looks like. And if you hit that bell notification, you can be notified whenever I post my update videos on the Uinta Highline Trail. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.